Chapter 16 Hydrogen, the father, and the son are one. Hydrogen has the atomic number of one and constitutes over 90% of the universe. And God is one, for he is the creator of the universe. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these stars, the one who leads forth their host by number. He calls them all by name because of the greatness of his might and the strength of his power. Not one of them is missing. Isaiah 40 and 26 And hydrogen exists as a diatomic molecule. And the Father and the Son are one. For as the Son said, I and the Father are one. John 10 and 30 Although hydrogen is the most fundamental element in the universe, it is also the third most common element found on Earth. For the Father dwells above the Earth and the heavens. For we do pray, Our Father who art in heaven. Matthew 6 and 9 For this world is not ruled by the Son, but is under the dominion of its ruler who is Satan, for as the Lord said, I will not speak much more with you, for the ruler of the world is coming, and he has nothing in me. John 14 and 30 And hydrogen can be highly explosive and flammable. And the day will soon come when Lord Angers is rekindled, for he will make the heavens tremble and the earth will be shaken from his place at the fury of the Lord of hosts in the day of his burning anger. Isaiah 13 and 13 And man in his ignorance has stirred up the Lord's wrath. For the pot believes that he is the potter. But woe to the one who quarrels with his maker. An earthenware vessel among the vessels of the earth. And the clay will say to the potter, What are you doing? But the thing you are making say, He has no hands. Isaiah 45 and 9 For man has altered the diatomic structure of hydrogen to form the isotope of tritium. And what is tritium? Tritium is a radioactive hydrogen isotope which contains a proton and two neutrons. And tritium is utilized in the production of nuclear weapons. For tritium is an essential component of a fusion reaction, which boosts the efficiency of a fission bomb. And in January of 2008, Iran produced its first supply of tritium. And the result shall be history.